We won the evangelicals. We won with young. We won with old. We won with highly educated. We won with poorly educated. I love the poorly educated. How about that from the other night, right? Donald Trump building wide support among a broad range of voters. But Ted Cruz says that he thinks that's not good enough, claiming that Trump cannot beat Hillary Clinton. A majority of Republicans don't think he's the right nominee. And if you look nationally, in the head-to-head -head polls, Donald consistently loses to Hillary. I consistently beat Hillary. Guy Benson, political editor at townhall.com and a Fox News contributor. And Nomiki Konst is a Democratic strategist and former at-large member of the DNC Council and former national co-chair of Generation 44. Uh, good to have you both here. Good morning, good morning to you. So let's go back to that initial uh, piece of sound that we played from After Nevada, Guy. Uh, he's right. I mean, he won across demographic groups that are generally considered to be tough uh, for people with his background. He won with the evangelicals, and he's reaching out. You know, when, when he makes that statement at the end, I love the poorly educated. You know, people laughed at that. Yeah. But, um, but, he, but he's right, in a way, I mean, in so. terms of, of who he's reaching out to and who looks up to him. That's exactly right. And when you look at Donald Trump's victory coalition so far, it is remarkably diverse. He is drawing from disparate elements of the Republican electorate, and that speaks to his strength as a candidate. Now, here's the thing. You're going to hear arguments from Ted Cruz, like you just played, and also from Marco Rubio. They're saying, oh, look, a majority of Republicans don't want him to be the nominee. That's true. And he's weak against Hillary Clinton in a general election setting. There's a lot of data that supports that. But here's the problem. If you're Cruz or Rubio, Martha, all of that is moving. It doesn't make a lick of difference if one of those two can't beat Donald Trump. And here's the truth bomb. If you're the Cruz campaign or the Rubio campaign, unless the trajectory of this race is altered dramatically and very soon, and unless these guys stop killing each other and splitting the non-Trump vote, Donald Trump will be the Republican nominee. Yeah, and that seems to be the thing that is most people's focus in these primary races and the caucuses as well, Amiki. They're not focused on who can win in November. They are, fo and you know, they're, they're sort of saying we'll, we'll deal with that problem down the road a little bit. But but we want you to understand where we're coming from and who we're interested in and why. You know, what do you make of this from a political science perspective, Nomiki? From a political science perspective, we just have to look at history. I mean, Ronald Reagan didn't win the first four states, and neither did Bill Clinton. So history really doesn't doesn't say that this has to be the case. But it is very important when demographics are shifting. And so when you have a situation like you have today with the Republican Party, understanding that the Hispanic vote is the future of the Republican Party, and understanding that there are a lot of people who used to be members of the Republican Party or former members of the Democratic Party who feel abandoned by the establishment, those are the people that, that Donald Trump is speaking to right now. But ultimately, Donald Trump has to turn that 8 out of 10 Hispanic vote that does not like him, the 8 out of 10 very unfavorable number, into his favor because right now Hillary Clinton is winning 76 percent to 16 percent on the Hispanic vote and Republicans cannot win the general or the next eight to ten years without that Hispanic vote and they can't rely on the independent working class vote which is very important right now and, and it's very important for Democrats as well but it will not win the general election for either of these parties but that working class vote you know the Reagan Democrats the people who do feel as Nomi said guy uh, that they have been rejected that they've been left behind uh, by this GOP, that they've been promised things that they that were not delivered. Uh, that is the sort of, you know, angry electorate. And, and, you know, as we've pointed out, that they're not they're not angry people. They're angry at the federal government and they want something different. Do you think, Guy, that that group cuts across a Democratic swath as well? Because we talked about the head to heads, um, but perhaps they're not accurate. What do you think? I think it's true that there are some non-traditional Republicans who are coming out to vote for Donald Trump. Now, the question is, is that enough to swamp and overcome some of the other demographic struggles that he would undoubtedly face in a general election, including from conservatives, by the way, who don't believe that he's an acceptable nominee? I think time will tell. No one has a crystal ball. The data looks bleak for him, but you're totally right. Between Donald Trump on the Republican side and Bernie Sanders on the Democratic side, there are a lot of Americans who are deeply, deeply in 
intractably frustrated with the establishment in both parties. And what's playing out is almost a yeah. European style election with a lot of people backing a socialist or a nationalist. Yeah, right. but that's, a, that's a very interesting point. I think we're going to see that, you know, that breakdown and the change in the way the parties perceive themselves perhaps coming through this process as well. Last question, Nomi, is, is the Clinton camp concerned about Donald Trump? Are they more concerned than the numbers might, might convey? I think that they should be, and, and especially because of that working class vote. The problem with Hillary Clinton's campaign, and, and I'm a Bernie Sanders supporter, is that I don't think that they can rely on turnout when under 45, the under 45 demographic is going hugely towards Bernie Sanders right now. So if she is the nominee, she's going to have to start focusing on that demographic and organizing them and speaking to them right now, and it's not working. So that working class vote is going to be essential for turnout for her, and Donald Trump wins that overwhelmingly right now. Great stuff. Thanks, you guys. Thank Good you. to see you both. Thank you.